just on our way to the market. So I hope you enjoy uh, this video of what we discover along the way and in different spots around towns with the food <laughs> of lovely Thailand. And if you do enjoy, please subscribe, click like, and uh, that notification bell. Comment too. Why not? <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. See you next time. Enjoy the video. Alright. The bam. And she's getting into it. The roasted over a fire bamboo. Sticky rice inside. Taro. She knows what she's doing. Holy smokes. Don't get in her way with the machete. <laughs> and that's what's inside the roasted bamboo. Lots of good stuff. Not too sweet, just a little sweet. It's in, been cooked with coconut milk. Yummy, yummy. Watch your fingers. Okay. As always, markets. Night markets or day markets? Morning markets? In Thailand, they're all good. An excellent place to get some takeaway. Often they will have tables and chairs around. Okay, so what we got here is quail's egg in fried dumplings as fried dumplings. So let's check it out. Um, you know, one of the reasons I love the markets is our budget. You know, we're traveling on $20 per person per day and doing well with that budget. You know, we're nine and a half months into it. So let's check it out. They always give you a little sauce. Mm. Okay. Hmm. It's really good. Very, very good. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> Here we are again at pra Pranom Chedi, world's largest Buddhist structure. And there's a honey lady. Out here, you don't see it all the time, but it's quite nice because in Canada, I rarely see the actual honeycombs. Now, I have spoken to the lady, and it's a hundred baht. That's like three dollars for a whole natural honeycomb. That's pretty sweet. These ones are only fifty baht, about half the size. And then she does sell the hunt, the actual honey. That's two hundred, two hundred baht. Um, that's about six dollars great deal for natural pure honey and I just love her stand because it's just honeycombs <laughs> and she's eating corn <laughs> and I guess she gets tired of eating honey <laughs> I've never seen this machine before it's, it's for bean sprouts it's separating the good stuff that everybody knows, most people love, and the stuff that we don't eat. Maybe animals eat that part. But here's where it starts off. She takes it from there. <laughs> it goes in there. Oh, it's a cool machine. It's actually my first time in almost five years. I've seen that. And what's this? Is this used for a animal food? Or just garbage? Is it garbage or is it animal food? No, I know what this is. But what's this? It's garbage. Okay. 